Hello Braille class, today we're going to be reading another part of Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Remember in the last part, um, Willy Wonka was talking about his Wonka bite and he was talking about the Umpa Lumpa that had taken it and then had gone from being in a wheelchair to being able to walk. He had a wrinkly face, his wrinkles faded, he had barely any hair and his hair began to grow and become thick and blonde. It has, it has, he cried delighted. I feel as frisky as a frog hopper. Not frisky enough, I told him. 50 is still pretty old. Let us see if I can't help you a bit more. Stay right where you are. I'll be back in a twink. I ran to my workbench and began to make one more pill of Wonka Bite using exactly the same mixture as before. Swallow this, I said, passing the second pill through the hatch. There was no hesitating this time. Eagerly, he popped it into his mouth and chased it down with a drink of water. And behold, Within half a minute, another 20 years had fallen away from his face and body, and he was now a slim and sprightly joy and started dancing around the room, leaping high in the air and coming down on his toes. Are you happy? I asked him. I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic means like when you're really, really, really happy. He cried, jumping up and down. I'm happy as a horse in a hayfield. He ran out of the testing room to show himself off to his family and friends. Thus was Wonka Bite invented, said Mr Wonka, and thus was it made safe for all to use. Why don't you use it yourself then, said Grandma Georgina. You told Charlie you were getting too old to run the factory, so why don't you just take a couple of pills and get 40 years younger? Tell me that. Anyone can ask questions, said Mr Wonka. It's the answers that count. Now then, the three of you in the bed would care to try those. Just one minute, said Grandma Josephine, sitting up straight. First, I'd like to take a look at this 70-year-old Umpa Lumpa who is now back to 30. Mr Wonka flicked his fingers. A tiny Umpa Lumpa, looking young and perky, ran forward out of the crowd and did a marvellous little dance in front of the three old people in the big bed. Two weeks ago, he was 70 years old and in a wheelchair, Mr Wonka said proudly. And look at him now. The drums, Charlie, said Grandpa Joe. Listen, they're starting up again. Far away, down on the bank of the Chocolate River, Charlie could see the Umpa Lumpa band striking up once more. There were 20 Umpa Lumpas in the band, each with an enormous drum twice as tall as himself, and they were beating a slow, mysterious rhythm that soon had all the other hundreds of Umpa Lumpas swinging and swaying from side to side in a kind of trance. They then began to chant. If you are old and have the shakes, if all your bones are full of aches, if you can hardly walk at all, if living drives you up the wall, if you're a grump and full of spite, if you're a human parasite, then what you need is Wonka Bite. Your eyes will shine, your hair will grow, your face and skin will start to glow. Your rotten teeth will all drop out, and in their place new teeth will sprout. Those rolls of fat around your hips will vanish and your wrinkled lips will get so soft and rosy pink that all the boys will smile and wink and whisper secretly that this is just the girl they want to kiss. But wait, for that is not the most important thing of which to boast. Good looks you'll have, we've told you so, but looks aren't everything you know. Each pill as well. To you will give an extra 20 years to live. So come, old friends, and do what's right. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's take a dose of this delight, this heavenly magic dynamite. You can't go wrong, you must go right. It's Willy Wonka's Wonka Bite. Wonder whether they're going to take it. Chapter 14, Recipe for Wonka Bite. Here it is, cried Mr Wonka, standing at the end of the bed and holding high in one hand a little bottle. The most valuable bottle of pills in the world. And that, by the way, he said, giving Grandma Georgina a saucy glance, is why I haven't taken any myself. They are far too valuable to waste on me. He held the bottle out over the bed. The three old ones sat up and stretched their squally necks, trying to catch a glimpse of the pills inside. Charlie and Grandpa Joe also came forward to look. So did Mr and Mrs Bucket. The label said, Wonka bite. Each pill will make you younger by exactly 20 years. Caution! Do not take more than the amount recommended by Mr. Wonka. I'll show you that there. You can see it in that box. They could all see the pills through the glass. They were brilliantly yellow, shivering and quivering inside the bottle. Vibrating is perhaps a better word. They were vibrating so rapidly that each pill became a blur and you couldn't see its shape. You could only see its colour. You got the impression that there was something very small but incredibly powerful. Something not quite of this world, locked up inside them and fighting to get out. They're wriggling, said Grandma Georgina. I don't like things that wriggle. How do we know they won't go on wriggling inside us after we swallowed them? Like those Mexican jumping bees. 
beans of Charlie's I swallowed a couple of years back. You remember that, Charlie? I told you not to eat them, Grandma. So you can see in the picture there, Willy Wonka, and he's got the Wonka bite in the bottle. They went on jumping about inside me for a month, said Grandma Georgina. I couldn't sit still. If I'm going to eat one of those pills, I jolly well want to know what's in it first, said Grandma Joyce I don't blame you, said Mr Wonka, but the recipe is extremely complicated. Wait a minute. I've got it written down somewhere. He started digging around in the pockets of his coattails. I know it's here somewhere, he said. I can't have lost it. I keep all my most valuable and important things in these pockets. The trouble is, there's such a lot of them. He started emptying the, pocket, the pockets and placing the contents on the bed. A homemade catapult, a yo-yo, a trick fried egg made of rubber, a slice of salami, a tooth with a filling in it, a stink bomb, a packet of itching powder. It must be here. It must be. It must, he kept muttering. I put it away so carefully. Ah, here it is. He unfolded a crumpled piece of paper, smoothed it out, held it up and began to read as follows. We're going to save the recipe for our next reading session tomorrow.